Hello and welcome back to another Walking Dead view. So yesterday, a promo for The Walking Dead Season 11 Part B came out and I want to break it down because some really big things were shown in this like 30 seconds trailer. And you think, oh, it's not that much. But if you really think about it, I think we are shown a lot more than what we should have been. So let's kind of go in and break it down. So the first thing we get shown, the first big thing is that we definitely see that Pamela goes to Alexandria. We're getting that Pamela goes to Alexandria kind of comic thing, which I think is really cool because a lot of people are going, maybe we don't. Maybe the first time we see Pamela is when she gets introduced by Lance at that big thing. But no, I think that's actually quite a bit further in the season. And the way these characters look, we have another shot here. We can see this is definitely episode 9. This is getting me quite worried episode 9 because you have to end the Weeper arc. However, they also need to then give enough time to introduce Pamela, give all the Commonwealth bits and have them do that. So we're definitely getting a time jump, episode 10, which we knew, but we we're kind of all expecting them to find the Commonwealth episode 10. But with all this, we're guaranteed we're going to see Pamela episode 9. It's quite weird, but it's going to be quite cool because we see this truck here. She's definitely going. It's going to be quite cool. We're definitely going to get Pamela. We're going to get that big thing. We're don't, not going to get the comic aspect where in the comics, Rick showed Pamela around all the other communities and showed the trade routes and she was impressed. Pamela's just going to go be like, oh, look at you sorry sods. You're all surviving. Wow. I want to see how some characters get dealt with because some characters we don't know much about their past. Like, we don't see Aaron goes to the Commonwealth, so maybe not all characters accept it. And maybe some characters are like, yeah, we accept, but we want to stay with our life here in Alexandria. And the Commonwealth's like, okay, you can build this if I help and maybe a few things. So I think it's not going to be a unanimous vote. I think this here, we're going to get like 50-50, and only some people are going to go, and they're going to be on like a kind of probation sort of thing. And that's what I think is going to happen, why only some characters go. Another interesting shot we get is Ezekiel getting treatment, and I think his arc, these eight episodes, if the previous kind of synopsis release was correct or was a lie, is going to be that he's going to get this treatment, and then somehow Sebastian is not going to be happy, and he's going to somehow withdraw that treatment from Ezekiel, and he's going to get really, really sick. I think that's when Tommy's going to step in. I think they're trying to force Tommy to become a doctor, but he's kind of not doing any surgeries. And I think with Ezekiel's health failing, because they're no longer giving his cancer, Tommy's going to have to step in and be like, okay, I'll save him. Or they could do it in another direction, is... Ezekiel straight up gets cured in these eight episodes. He gets really sick. Tommy does the medicine. And then they're kind of setting Ezekiel up to be this, like, shock, sad ending. Where then he's going to get Rick's comic death. I believe that could be it. Now, I do also want to talk about Daryl. Because he's got quite an interesting, like, kind of role, it looks like, these eight episodes. Looking at this little 30-second promo, we see him in his Commonwealth armor, which looks really cool. He looks so good at it. It looks really weird, though, to see Daryl in this Commonwealth armor, but it is good to see that he's the one who's going to be looking after Judith. Judith's going to live with him. He's not living in a barracks like you would think he is. He's been given a full, like, apartment so he can look after kids. I think he's been given some sort of special treatment. The reason why I think he's been given some sort of special treatment and he's not in a barracks, because as we knew from Tommy, Tommy, he was, like, he was a cake maker. He lived in a little, like, kind of bunk. He had a bunk house or something. But Daryl's been given his own apartment. And the reason I think he's going to be a special treatment is because we get other shots of Daryl, and he's with Pamela. And they're at this big fancy party, and Daryl's there, but not in armour. And I think they're going to give Daryl Rick's role. He's definitely getting Rick's role. And he's kind of going to be the mediator. And I think Pamela does see, or Mercer does see, he has leadership skills. And I think, okay, he's going to be part of the military, but they probably want him to make him, like, some sort of, like, high-ranked military officer. I think the original plan for Daryl, when they took Daryl in, is be like, okay, we want him to be some sort of leader figure in the military. I think they want him to be kind of Mercer type. And that's why he's with Pamela, instead of it being in his uniform. He's there looking, he looks quite fancy. I think he's got, like, a blazer on or something and a normal top underneath. And that's why he looks, like, there, and he's not in his uniform. And that's why he lives in a house, like, a flat, and not in a bunkhouse like we've been told people who have low ranking jobs, like the military, like a shop owner, live in bunkhouses. And I definitely think a lot more's going on in Pamela and Lance's mind what they want to do with Daryl this season. The last thing I do want to talk about is the big thing of this, like, kind of 
little promo. We find out that Leah survives episode 9. The reason why Mary survives episode 9? Because it's clearly been a time jump. Look at her. She looks nothing like she did in episode 9. She's wearing completely different clothes. Her hair's a mess when her hair was kind of all tied up. In episode 9, she's definitely been surviving. So I think what's going to happen in episode 9, Maggie sees Red. Alden's dead. She kills all the Reapers. Leah escapes. And then we get the time jump. And I think, what I think will happen is that the Commonwealth will find Leah, she'll prove that, oh yeah, I'm really good at this, that, and that, and they'll try and make her part of the military, and do you know the shot we get with Maggie holding the gun surrounded by officers? I call it, the reason why she's doing that is not because of my previous video where I was like, oh, that's because Gabriel has just been killed in front of them. No, the reason why she's doing that and she's holding her son so close to her is because Leah is among the Commonwealth soldiers. She might not be in armour, she is among them. That is what I believe. The Commonwealth finds Leah, takes her to a hilltop, and Maggie sees and pulls a gun out. I call it, that is what's going to happen. And I think that we all have this, like, kind of, Daryl near the end of the eight episodes is going to kind of rebel, and Mercer's going to find him. No, I call it, I think, that Daryl is going to go to the Commonwealth and then come back quite soon. He's going to do it in the first few episodes. And I definitely think Daryl going to Hilltop is going to happen about episode 11. And that shot is really early on in these eight episodes. I call it. I think Leah is going to be kind of a antagonist for Maggie for these eight episodes. I think Maggie will eventually kill her. And that will kind of start with all the all-out war stuff. And I think that will be kind of Maggie's into the... I need to take out the Commonwealth because they're kind of protecting her. That's what I think is going to happen. And that is my video. So what do you think about these four little things that I picked out from the little promo we got? Do you agree with my little theories that I have of these four moments? Or do you think I missed anything really big in the little 30 seconds that we got on the promo? Please tell me down below. And feel free to subscribe if you want more Walking Dead videos, if you want more reviews, or more breakdown videos. I do them all the time. And look on the screen for more Walking Dead content. I recommend you look to find something else you like. And I will see you later. So goodbye, peace out. I'll talk to you at a later date.